In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 most dangerous prisons that ever existed. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. For many centuries, being imprisoned has been considered a punishment for crimes committed. Prisons around the world vary in size and amenities offered, particularly dependent on the types of criminals they house. Minimum security luxury prisons are known to have comfortable beds, access to private bathrooms, and recreational activities including rock climbing, tennis, and horseback riding. But there are prisons on the other end of the spectrum as well, those that are severely overcrowded, contain excessively violent atmospheres, and lack proper medical care for inmates. This list highlights 10 of the worst places to get locked up. Number 10. Sabanita Prison, Venezuela. More than 3,700 inmates live in this overcrowded facility, which was designed to hold only 700 people. Inmates become ill and violent as a result of the overcrowding. Guards give preferential treatment to those with money and power in La Sabanita, which is ruled by corruption. Everyone else must use a hammock in the corridors while these select individuals sleep in their cells on a bed. There is also no set daily routine, allowing inmates to do and behave as they please, which frequently results in extremely violent encounters as a result of their lack of mental stimulation and cramped living quarters. Number 9. Gitarama Prison, Rwanda. Gitarama, the world's most overcrowded prison, houses over 7,000 inmates in a facility designed to hold only 400. The majority of the inmates are suspected perpetrators of the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Because of the extreme overcrowding, these men and women are forced to stand barefoot on the filthy ground for long periods of time, causing their feet to rot. Many require amputations, but with only one full-time doctor on staff, most inmates are unable to receive the care they require, resulting in half a dozen deaths each day. Number 8. Padak Island Prison, Russia. On this island in Nova Zero Lake, around 193 prisoners are serving life sentences in complete isolation. Paddock Island Prison houses a maximum security prison for previously convicted criminals and other dangerous inmates. Every day, each prisoner spends 22.5 hours in a small two-man cell. The constrained existence of living in cages is immensely unpleasant, even if they never have to fear violence from the guards or their other convicts. There are also no basic sanitation facilities like lavatories or sufficient washing facilities. The convicts weaken and become psychologically shattered as the island is surrounded by very cold water and snow. Number 7. Rikers Island, United States. Remember that not only adults are sentenced to prison. Minors have been known to perpetrate crimes, and they, too, may find themselves in risky situations. In 2014, U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara issued a study revealing that minors at Rikers Island in New York City were subjected to a large degree of abuse. He chastised the facility for using excessive force, insults, and beatings. According to the findings of the inquiry, men detainees aged 18 and under suffered 1,057 injuries in 2013. Furthermore, Politico reported on 2019 figures showing a large increase in inmate attacks on one another, staff member assaults, and guards using force against convicts. Mayor Bill de Blasio approved a plan to close the institution and rebuild it with four new jails because the violence had grown out of hand. Number 6. Diyarbakir Prison, Turkey. To say the least, Turkish jails have a questionable history, and Diyarbakir is no exception. The prison redefines terror and hatred, from incarcerating youngsters for life to overcrowding and sewage-flooded passageways. Guards and inmates have no love lost, but a 1996 incident suggests a cruel authoritarian control that leaves no inmate safe. An attack on 33 prisoners resulted in 10 deaths and 23 injuries, with 9 of those hospitalized in severe condition, according to one prisoner. An inquiry found a stunning possibility that the guards were behind the attack, which included guards and police officers dressed in riot gear and using batons and truncheons. Number 5. Bangkwang Prison, Thailand. The prison, which was built in the 1930s and was designed to hold no more than 3,500 inmates, now houses more than 8,000 inmates, the majority of whom are serving sentences of at least 25 years. Around 10% of those detainees are on death row, and each of them has shackles welded to their legs. In fact, shackles are a type of classification, 
new inmates must wear them for the first three months. Every day, only one meal a bowl of rice and soup is served, all other food must be purchased from the canteen, though the poorer inmates must work for the wealthier inmates in order to afford the canteen's goods. The only meal offered to Angela Carnegie, an American who spent nine years in Bangkwan for drug smuggling, was usually infested with maggots. Because of the lack of running water and the poor sewage system, which sends toxic fumes into the prison and causes a slew of health problems that are only exacerbated by overcrowding, the majority of inmates are malnourished and often diseased. Number 4. Calapauca Prison, Peru. It is named after the criminals it houses, providing a compelling reason for the prison authorities to keep their distance in order to avoid clashes and or riots. Some inmates are removed from dormitory rooms and placed in separate but guarded cubicles due to security concerns. Because none of the residents have private access to technology, wandering in the courtyards and reading are their sole sources of entertainment. Because of the distance, visits are not frequent, and the authorities schedule them. The government's one-of-a-kind platform makes these entrance dates public. In 2018, the Alcatraz de los Altiplano documented a series of violent activities, including the kidnapping of INPE agents and the death of one inmate in a brawl between inmates. Many of them saw this as an opportunity to request that they be relocated. The call was made through posters hung from the control towers, requesting that human rights organizations attend and assess the conditions in which people reside. Number 3. Sednea Prison, Syria. The Syrian government runs Sednea Prison, which is a military prison near Damascus. Thousands of captives, both civilians and anti-government rebels, have been held at the facility. Since the outbreak of the Syrian civil war, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights SOHR, estimates that 30,000 detainees have died in Sednea as a result of torture, ill-treatment, and mass executions, while Amnesty International estimated in February 2017 that between 1,500 and 13,000 people were extrajudicially executed at Sednea between September 2011 and December 2015. Over 27 jails and detention camps administered by Assad's dictatorship have been identified by human rights organizations across the country, where detainees are routinely tortured and killed. Thousands of images of the remains of victims who had been murdered were smuggled out of these prisons by a defector from Assad's sources. The defector said that he had personally photographed the victims and that there were thousands more such photos in archives. According to a former prisoner who was jailed for engaging in a peaceful non-violent protest, prisoners at Sednea were forced to choose between killing one of their own family or friends or dying themselves. The former convict also alleged that detainees were pushed to cannibalism in his previous prison, but that prison was paradise compared to Sednea prison. Number 2. Terre Haute, USA. Maximum security, medium security, and low security units make up this Indiana prison complex. Terre Haute is known as Guantanamo North because it houses the federal government's execution chamber. Inmates on death row are held in a special confinement unit where they dwell in small cells alone and are only allowed out three times a week to use the exercise cages. Jakar Sarnayev, the Boston Marathon bomber, will be housed in this prison until his execution. Number 1. Concentration Camp Horyong. Hundreds of thousands of people are imprisoned in North Korea's prison camps. According to Insider, the sites have been compared to Nazi concentration camps. Outsiders have limited knowledge of what goes on in these camps, which is one of the concerns. Only a few former guards and escapees have been able to provide details about the conditions within. 200,000 people are said to have disappeared in North Korea and are being held in these facilities. According to Free Korea, Camp 22 is one of the country's largest and most horrific work camps, and satellite photography has provided other countries considerable insight into it. Survivors and former guards told human rights researcher David Hawk that a person entering the detention center would most certainly die or become crippled within three months. Former convicts claim that life is so harsh that 20 to 25 percent of inmates die each year, per insider. Shin Dong-hyuk, who spent 23 years in a Korean camp, said he was always hungry and that inmates ate rats and insects to stay alive. Prisoners frequently develop hunchbacks due to a lack of protein and calcium. They get frostbite and lose toes and fingers as well. Furthermore, guards are known to torture detainees for amusement. What do you think about our video? 
Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.